I-45, we'll call to order the Finance and Purchasing Committee meeting <laughs> of Monday, October 17th, 2022. Can I get a roll call, please? Alderman Newsom. Present. Alderman Moisio. Here. Alderman Hayes. Here. Alderman Florian. Here. Alderman Rivera. Present. We have a quorum. Thank you. Item C, approval of the minutes. Can I get a motion to approve the minutes from uh, September the 19th? I'll motion. Second. Motion by Alderman Rivera. Rivera. Mm -hmm. Second by Alderman Florian. Are there any questions to the uh, minutes? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carry. Item D. Public comment, is there anyone in the audience that wants to um, comment on anything that's on the agenda? Seeing none, we'll go to new business. Item A, a resolution authorizing the proper city officials to purchase maintenance and professional services and to place order for professional services from Fortress Data Management in an amount not to exceed $125,000. Um, staff recommends that the City Council approve a resolution increasing purchase authority for maintenance and professional services from Fortress Data Management. Fortress Data Management is a data backup solution and annual risk assessment provider. Professional services are a defined exception from the formal bidding procedure pursuant to Section 2-458, subsection I-4. Uh, can I get a motion on the floor? I'll motion. Alderman Rivera, second by Alderman Hayes. Are there any questions? Roll call, please. Alderman Rivera? Aye. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Hayes? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Motion carried. Item B, resolution approving and authorizing the proper city officials to enter into a professional services agreement with Nicole Large per section 2-458 subsection I-5 for professional consulting services regarding researching, writing, management of local, state, federal grant funding and opportunities. Can I get a motion on the floor? A motion. Motion by Alderman Rivera. Second. Second by Alderman Hayes. Um, Chief, um, I'll read the, at the mayor's direction, the city of Waukegan re removed a FTE full-time employee position during 2023 budgeting process, which was needed to complete writing, pursuing, uh, managing of local, state, federal grants. Fiscal year 23 budget could not support addition to this FTE position, but this position remained a priority. So it has been decided that this position would be filled by an independent contractor. Um, are there any questions on this item? I believe that this uh, Corporation Council is supposed to be for one year with the, uh, the right to go to a second year with the mayor's approval or what? So it is, it is a two-year contract, but it can be terminated any time with 30 days notice with absolutely no um, requirement that, um, that they be paid any more than the services actually already provided. Oh, okay. So it's 80000 a year yes. for two years. Funding will be provided from the fiscal year 2023 general fund grant writer. Yeah, general fund grant writer GL100-103. One two four four three eight. All right, any questions, um, Alderman Florian? Um, I need to know if I should recuse myself on this because I know Nicole personally. Uh, do you? Um, are, are you in business with Mrs. No, Large? No, definitely not. Do you? Would you have any financial interest in this contract? No, I will not. 
Okay. Then I um, and do you feel that there is otherwise an Im a, an appearance of impropriety that might arise from your relationship with Mrs. Large? No, I don't think so. Then I I see no reason why you cannot vote on this. But thank you for, thank, thank you for raising the question. Thank you for answering those questions or asking those questions. I guess I answered. Uh, roll call, please. Alderman Rivera. Aye. Alderman Florian. Aye. Alderman Hayes. Aye. Alderman Moisio. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Motion carried. Item B, uh, item C. C. Resolution authorizing bid waiver and spending authority for not to exceed amount of $50,000 to Northern Illinois Public Safety Training Academy for firefighter training. Uh, the fire department is requesting approval to raise the approved amount to be paid to Northern Illinois Public Safety Training Academy with the addition of seven new firefighter positions and several recruitments. The fire department has found it necessary to send a large group to the Basic Firefighter Academy. The current cost to send one person through the six-week academy is approximately $4,100. The fire department is asking to raise the amount to $50,000. NIPSA is the only full-time academy uh, in the area and has been used as the sole training for all new Waukegan firefighters for many years. The cost was known when we completed our budget and has been included in our approved fiscal year 2023 budget in line item 100. 30202 training and schooling. Uh, can I get a motion? I'll motion. Second. Alderman Rivera, second by Alderman Florian. Are there any questions? Roll call, please. Alderman Rivera? Aye. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Hayes? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Motion carried. Item D, resolution authorizing the proper city officials to approve a contract with FSS Technologies LLC to replace an old radio network system for monitoring fire alarms at no cost to the city. Um, I'm going to ask Chief Pazer to come up because I, I do have a few questions. The fire department staff recommends the city council authorize the mayor to execute an agreement with FSS Technologies LLC an Illinois limited liability company uh, out of Arlington Heights, Illinois. This contract has no cost to the city. FSS will cover costs from monthly subscription fees and FSS will rebate a portion of the subscription fees to the city. Can I get a motion on the floor first? I'll motion. Alderman Rivera, second. Good. Alderman Hayes, second. Okay, my, my question is in the packet, they have a table of what the fees are. My question is currently, I know the fees that the businesses pay, is this an increase to their fees that they're currently paying? So, <clears throat> excuse me, right now with contact who, is our current contractor that we use. Mm -hmm. We are paying, or their fee is $89 per month. Um, of the $89, 50 of it goes to the city, 39 of it goes to contact. With FSS, the total fee is $95. So it's gonna go up $6 a month. There has not been a price increase in over 12 years okay. to anybody in the city. And of that, um, $40 will go to FSS, $48 will go to the city, I guess 47 will go to FSS because there's also a $7 service fee. The $7 service fee, and I brought my resident expert, our fire marshal here, uh, in case I explain this wrong, um, the, the service fee will cover them to do the monitoring for us. This is also going to be a huge relief on our dispatch because right now if somebody is to put an alarm in service or take it out of service, they call our dispatch center. Um, and let them know they're doing work on it, so they take it in and out of service. This will all happen on FSS, the new company's end, nothing through our dispatch. So it's also a very simple solution to ease up um, the problems that we're having with our dispatch being overwhelmed and short of manning. So yes, it will go up a little, and that's the first year. The second year goes up another $5, third year goes up another $5 after that then. So this right here on Exhibit D is, is not correct. Um, you know what, ma'am? I'm sorry. I'm not sure which exhibit D is. Are you in the contract, ma'am? Yes. No. Oh. Which part? What? I'm sorry. The actual contract. 
This is $150 per month. Connect well the connection of monthly. Okay, the monthly monitoring position charge per month for active position 55. So that's Probably that's less that. than what it currently is. You know what? Stand by. We're gonna. Oh, here's Exhibit D. You're talking about the $150 on the top line. Yes. That connection fee is initial connection for a new uh, for a new connecting. Somebody builds a new building, and new connection would be $150. Okay. Switching over, which we would be switching to the new vendor, it will be zero dollars for anyone currently. Okay. So if you already have a radio and you already have an alarm system, there's no connection fee other than just the regular subscription fee. Oh, okay. And no one will be and then double the, charged. Okay. Switching to the new company, that will all be squared away as well. Okay. And they have no option though; they have to switch to FS. Yes, okay. that is correct. It's a clear network. Yep. Okay. Any more questions? Roll call, please. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman Rivera? Aye. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Hayes? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Motion carried. Um, I think that's it, Chief. Thank you. Item E, resolution authorizing the proper, proper city officials to increase spending authorization from 62000 to 200000 for commodities, maintenance, and professional services from D, uh, CDW government. Uh, and that's the same thing. Um, funding will be provided from multiple departments, general ledger codes in the 2023 budget. Can I get a um, motion on the floor? A motion. Alderman Rivera. Seconded. Second by Alderman Hayes. Are there any questions to this motion? That's a pretty big jump. <laughs> <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Mr. <laughs> Gardella. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> uh, yes, it is a good. Big, it's a good job. <clears throat> we spent uh, one quarter of that during our first quarter. The microphone. We okay. spent one quarter of the two hundred thousand during our first quarter. We have multiple departments buying from this vendor, so I need to have permission to spend the money in order to provide for all of our departments. I, the police department pay, buys from them. Risk, uh, the fire department, and it's just a matter of. I need permission to spend the money what budgeted and this is it's all I, been budgeted for yeah, it's been budgeted okay and why didn't we originally just say we were going to spend this money i had a conversation with our council about this before this fiscal year because of our ordinance and in the way it's written to do a blanket statement for the entire year but we decided to hold off at that point because it was a it was, it was the crazy time going into the next fiscal year. I just, just kind of caught up to it now. Okay. Uh, Alderman Florin, one of the things that we're working with the finance department on is to clarify the, the provision that Alderman Turner talked about earlier, which has often been confusing to department heads and honestly to both Corporation Council and the finance department about how to handle approvals for procurements from the same vendor over $25,000 when it's coming from different departments. And there are ways to do it that are more clear than the way the city has historically been doing it. Um, and so um, we're, we're gonna be presenting some options that line up with how you guys budget rather than how we do invoicing, um, mm -hmm. which should prevent things like this from coming up in a confusing way. Okay, thank you for that. I, I have a question just for everyone's understanding what are we purchasing exactly? we're, par we're purchasing uh, computer projects desks uh, LCD screens for the fire department have been purchased through this we've more got more LED LCD screens that we'll be buying um, mice key keyboards uh, cables HDMI cables sure these are consumables hardware like computer hardware, hardware for the most yeah. part this is all hardware all, hardware. all commodities okay. all commodities it adds up thank you Ron Certainly. appreciate it thank you are there any other questions no ma'am roll call please Alderman Rivera aye Alderman Florian aye Alderman Hayes aye Alderman Moisio aye Alderman Newsom aye motion carried um may as well stay there um, item F, resolution authorizing the proper city officials to continue purchasing computers and commodities from Amazon.com, 
Business Prime Section 2-458, subsection I-7 of the City Code in a not to exceed amount of $92,000. Res uh, recommend action is resolution authorizing the proper city officials to continue purchasing computers. Um, the IT department purchases commodities for multiple departments of the city. At the beginning of the second fiscal quarter, the purchases crossed $22,789.59. Last fiscal year, expenditures with Amazon.com was $48,628.06. Uh, they expect this year's purchase to be four times the first quarter purchases, estimating $92,000 to be spent this year. Amazon business purchases are a limited uh, exception under section 2-458 subsection I-7 of the city code that requires two-thirds of the city council vote to approve this item and that a good faith base good faith <clears throat> basis for the purchase is given in open session can I get a motion on the floor first of all so moved I'll second Alderman Florian second by Alderman Rivera are there any questions to this motion, Alderman Florian. So what's the difference between D and E? Or I mean, E and F. So we, we're per, D, we purchase DSW. different things from CDW than we do Amazon? Yes, we purchase different things and multiple departments purchase from Amazon. We uh, usually look for the best price, com like yeah. compared? We're, we're going best price. And uh, of course, it is a business, it is a business account. So multiple departments within the city can purchase through it and that makes that 25,000 cap go away really quick. So I'm asking for what I think is four times what we spent the first quarter and hopefully I don't have to come back. I have a question. Alderman Hayes. Is this gonna be with the funds that are being allocated or have been budgeted for CDW and the, these costs here, is this gonna be an, an annual charge or are, these, are we catching up from years of not purchasing new you're Hardware. right on target. We are catching up, remediating systems, catching up on broken things for, for quite a while. Okay. We're putting our city in, back in good shape. So while we'll have expenses going forward, do we think that this is, generally speaking, the lion's share of the hardware expenses for the next couple of years, or is there still more catching up to do? Is There's always catching, well, once we get into the past the remediation, then there's going to be a 20% per year uh, replacement of equipment because you have to replace a computer every five years, regardless in a server. So, but that's a more controlled, smaller number, if that's what you're trying to ask. Yeah, I, th I think so. Yeah. So we're, the, the plan is to, pr to replace 20% of, is it just computers or just all hardware systems? Uh, that would be computers, servers, okay. uh, computer hardware, networking, s material. Uh, Equipment, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, that's helpful. I mean, do we think that we're going to be spending, is it 92000 or whatever the number actually ends up being from Amazon Business? Is this going to be a, an annual thing that we're... I'm this much estimating that this is what we're going to need for this year. I will, when we get closer to March, I may have a different answer for you, but I'm hoping that this is good. Uh, any more questions? <clears throat> Roll call, please. Alden Rivera. Aye. Alden Florian. Aye. Alden Hayes. Aye. Alden Moisio. Aye. Alden Newsom. Aye. Motion carried. Item G, resolution authorizing the proper city officials to increase spending authorization from 100000 to 200000 for professional services with ML staffing. Staff recommends the City Council to authorize the IT department to increase spending authorization from 100000 to 200000 to place orders for professional services that will exceed $25,000 as outlined in the City of Waukegan Municor Code, Section 2-454. Staff requests authorization to waive competitive bidding pursuant to Section 2-458, subsection I-4. Uh, can I get a motion on the floor? So moved. Moved. Sorry. Motion by Alderman Rivera, second by Alderman Hayes. Alderman Hayes. Are there any questions? 
Oh, he, he, <laughs> there you go. Spending some more money there. Hey, Ron. Um, I, I'm always asking about these temp people we have throughout mm -hmm. the whole city, not just your department, because I know because I pay my employee through a temp agency. It costs more. Than, it does. I mean, you know, per hour at least. I don't know if we have n hard numbers on whether it costs us more because we offer benefits and all that kind of stuff to full-time employees, but is this a kind of in the same vein as what Alderman Hayes was just saying? Is this something we see happening year after year? Are these people we can eventually hire on as full-time employees, or what? what's the plan, I guess? Yes, there are people that are able to, to be hired on as full-time employees. The uh, As with your business doc, IT <coughs> people have to have specific skill sets in order to do the job and they're, those skill sets are hard to find. So the best way I've been able to model this is to hire a contractor that proves themselves and then we hire. We've done that with three so far uh, and it's been very successful. One more I picked up and when I asked for the $100,000 Earlier in the year, I should have asked for 200000 because I knew I had to get another person. I just didn't have the right person available. Now I've got the opportunity for that person. That's why you want the additional $100,000. Uh, and you're right. It's it's about 100000 a year for a contractor of that skill set <coughs> because of what the contracting company charges. So we're halfway through the fiscal year, though. So do we really need 100000 to make it through the rest of this fiscal year? I could have probably been better with the math, but probably it could probably come short of that. Okay. I had budgeted two hundred thousand for this budget line going into it, and we, there was only a hundred thousand asked for, so I just wrote two hundred thousand. If you don't have to use it, then you're not using this money. No. And you said that this is for employees uh, or IT and other. This is. This one is IT uh, plus our engineering. Um, what we do is we buy a block of time from engineering firms, IT engineering firms, because there's things that take uh, quite a bit of uh, skill and training that we don't have here. So there's two companies. I've got two blocks of time with them. This pays for that too. Um, these are engineers that you can imagine are, if you're going to have your gallbladder taken out, that's kind of a price tag you're talking about. Right. So services for any part-time uh, or uh, staffing that you might need to bring in? Mm -hmm. for the yes, contracting name. services. Uh, what's the name on the line item? It says uh, professional services. ML, um, yeah. ML staffing. Yeah. Any more questions? No. Roll call, please. Alderman Rivera. Aye. Alderman Florian. Aye. Alderman Hayes. Aye. Alderman Moisio. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Um, item H, resolution authorizing the proper city officials to approve the acceptance of the fiscal year 2021 staffing for adequate fire and emergency response safer grant from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, FEMA. Can I get a motion on the I'll floor? motion. Second. Alderman Rivera. Second by Alderman Florian. The Waukegan Fire Department has been awarded a grant from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security from the department's fiscal year 2021 staffing for adequate fire and emergency response, the safer funding opportunity. The award totals $1,292,739.81 and allows for the Waukegan Fire Department to hire three new firefighting personnel with salaries and benefits paid through the grant for a period of three years to enable the department to maintain minimum staffing requirements on a 24-hour staffing schedule. There is no required local match. Are there any questions? Alderman Florian. Um, I, I asked this question at our meeting on Thursday, but I just wanted to make sure that this was asked in public, too, because 
my concern was we get, I think it's for three firefighters, is that right? And then when the grant's over, can we keep them? You know, are we gonna be okay? You know, I know we always well, need used firemen. I'm not, I'm not doubting that. Yeah. Did they used to require that we had to keep them at least for a minimum of three or four years after the grant? Correct, yes, okay. and that is not included in there anymore. So technically, no, we do not have to keep them. Uh, but in the next three to five years, we are probably gonna have 20 to 30 guys, if not more, turnover. Um, so By that we'll, you mean retire? Retire, correct. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so it, yeah, it, it will not um, it it will not be a problem. Okay. And and with any luck, finance will allow us to keep the numbers that this will bring us to. So um, we'll keep our fingers crossed. So yes, this <laughs> well, is a wonderful thing for us. Overtime goes down, right? It, it, absolutely. Yes. That's what I'm yes. talking about. I, and, and substantially too. Yay. So yes, this will give us one extra person per shift. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, yes. Awesome, thank and you, Chief. Sure. Anybody else? When did they remove that requirement that we, the city had to keep them on for a certain amount of time? Was that? Four or five years ago they lifted okay. that because there was so much complaining about the way that it used to run. Oh, okay, all right. Because a lot of cities were getting stuck with huge bills afterwards. Right. So, and I know that's what turned the city of Waukegan off on it last time right. as well. Right, So. okay. Anything else? I think that is, uh, any more questions? Thank you. Roll call, please. Alderman Rivera. Aye. Alderman Florian. Aye. Alderman Hayes. Aye. Alderman Moisio. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Motion carried. Item I, resolution authorizing the mayor to submit an application mm. for the Bridge Improvement Program, BIP, discretionary grant program funds regarding the Genesee Street Bridge. This grant will provide additional funding to support rehabilitation of the Genesee Street Bridge if awarded, the grant will provide two, is that two million, two, two million seven hundred forty-two thousand six hundred dollars which is 20% in federal reimbursements, further reducing the state's share of nine million four hundred and seventy-nine thousand seven hundred and ninety-seven, which is 69.13%, and the city's local match requirement to one million four hundred and ninety thousand six hundred and three dollars the phases, um, the phases covered by this grant are design, engineering phase two, construction, and construction inspections. Can I get a motion on the floor? I'll motion. Alderman Rivera? Second. Alderman Florian, second. Are there any questions to this motion? Being none, roll call, please. Alderman Rivera? Aye. Alderman Florian. Aye. Alderman Hayes. Aye. Alderman Moisio. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Motion carried. <laughs> Item three, reports and communications. Did you want to go over the... We can go over or you have a summary, whatever you want to do. You all want to, them to go over the... Uh, can I just ask one question? Sure. <laughs> um, the stabilization fund, Don, I know you know what I'm going to ask you about. Um, it was brought to my attention by a resident that in our budget last year, he thought we spent money out of our stabilization fund to hire new employees. And I, I want to bring that up publicly so that we can talk about that and quell that myth. That is, that is not true. We haven't touched the stabilization fund. And even if we wanted to, we couldn't use that money to hire employees, correct? No, we don't, we don't use it for that purpose. Okay. I just wanted that said publicly. Thank you. Are there any other questions? I'll take a motion to adjourn. A motion. Second. Uh, motion by Alderman Rivera. Second by Alderman Florian to adjourn at 6.14 p.m. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, motion carried. Thank you, everyone.